Welcome to another episode of Type With Me. Within this episode, we will talk about WebSockets on the server with TypeScript and Node.js. Thanks for being here and let's go. So first of all, I'm gonna install the package PS, which stands for WebSockets, right? And you can very easily use that within our Node.js application. So another thing that I want to install are typings for Node. Great. One of the things that we typed here is import WebSocket from VS. And um, Visual Studio Code is telling me that I need to install add types VS. So we will do so. Great. So now we have support for the VS package. Now I can start creating a simple WebSocket.server, right? And of course, we need to check if we have connection. We can very easily do that with uh, our WebSocket server dot on and then see if we have connection there, right? Then we have here our WebSockets uh, parameter. And then from there, we can see websocket.on message function incoming message. Get to console.log of our message, right? Our message is exactly websocket.data. So it's very great that we also installed at types slash VS, right? Because now we have also typings for our websocket library within Node.js. So if I now do websocket.data. You will see that data can be a string or a buffer or an array buffer or buffer as an array, right? So it's a union type. Of course, when I have a connection, I can just do sense. Connected, for example. So now we can build this. And we can execute our code. So now our WebSocket server runs, right? So when we now go to our web server, we get upgrade required, right? I always recommend to use server of node itself. So we can very easily do that by just doing an import.
And here we can add our web server. And then of course, here we just can do server listen. I'm going to use 8889 support number and then it's always nice to have some feedback when you need to start your server right so we will do that of course I'm gonna build again so now we can start to install an extension on Chrome, so for example, Smart WebSockets client. I'll add that to Chrome. Then we can go to that uh, that client, right? make my screen a little bit bigger by zooming in of course now i'm gonna start my server so here i'm going to add the correct port number and i'm going to connect i'm connected now and now i can send hi from smart websocket client so you see i send that message twice and now we just print out that message because we had a console.log message great i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, next week we will build a client in browser to handle some communication with websockets. I hope to see you then. Bye.